Hi lovelies! If you are looking for a tasty way to add more fish to your dinner repertoire, or maybe you're just looking for a fun way to spice up Taco Tuesday, then you are in luck, because today I am sharing this absolutely delicious recipe for fish tacos, and you won't believe how easy they are to make. Now, I have to tell you, for years, I only ate fish tacos when I was at restaurants. They were one of my favorite things to order off a menu. But then I realized just how simple they are to make at home, and it changed basically everything. So for these fish tacos today, I am starting with some cod. You could also do this with tilapia or haddock. You could do this with salmon if you wanted to, but it's got quite a bit of a stronger flavor or shrimp would be really good in these tacos as well. So you have some options, but cod is a really nice mild fish. So if you have some kids in your house maybe that aren't such huge fans of fish, this is a great fish to start with. And now I'm just gonna make a really quick and easy marinade for my cod. So first things first, I've got some avocado oil headed into a bowl here. You can really use any type of flavorless oil you want in this recipe. I love avocado in my cooking these days, but something like canola or sunflower would work just as well. I would avoid something like olive oil though, uh, because you may find it's got a bit too strong flavor. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add the juice of a lime to this. So I love lime in my tacos, obviously. It totally feels right to add lots and lots of delicious citrusy lime. Very nice and bright and fresh. And once I've got my lime in my bowl, I'm gonna start seasoning things up. I'm keeping it simple here. I've got some chili powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and some salt. You could add some chipotle powder here for a little bit of smoke or some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat. I'm keeping things nice and simple and kid-friendly, at least in my house. And then I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk with my handy-dandy mini whisk. And then I'm going to add my fish fillets right into my bowl and coat them with that amazing marinade. Now once you've got those cod fillets all nice and coated in that wonderful marinade, you can either let this sit for 15 to 30 minutes in the refrigerator, or if you don't have any extra time like I never do on weeknights, you can go ahead and bake this right away. I'm just gonna arrange these on a parchment lined baking sheet here. And at this point, I'm ready to get my fillets into the oven. I've got it preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm going to let these cook for about 20 minutes or so, or until they flake easily with a fork. I like to broil them for the last, say, two minutes, just to get them nice and crisp on the exterior, and then they are ready for our tacos. Now in the meantime, while my fish is cooking away, I'm going to mix up the most incredible sauce for our tacos. So in the bowl of my little food processor, I have got some sour cream. You could also do this with some plain Greek yogurt if you wanted to. And to that, I'm gonna add some avocado. Nice healthy fats, great color, great texture. Next, I've got some more great citrusy flavor with some more fresh lime juice. For you cilantro lovers, I've got some cilantro headed in here. If you are a cilantro hater, that's fine. You leave it out or add some parsley instead. Both ways work, it'll still be really good. And then we want just a touch of salt, not a lot, just a little bit. I'm just gonna get my lid right onto my food processor and give this a quick blend. If you notice it's a little on the thick side, you can go ahead and add just a little bit of oil to it until it's reached a nice consistency. Quick taste test. That is perfection. We are ready to assemble these tacos. Now at this point, my fish is ready, my sauce is ready, my tummy is grumbling, and I am ready to eat, which means it is time to assemble our tacos. I have heated up some flour tortillas. I just wrapped them in some foil and popped them into the oven until they were nice and warm and pliable. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start to pile my fish into the base of each taco. You don't wanna be shy. The fish is definitely the star of this show. Great for you, lots of protein, good flavor. Next, I wanna add some color and some crunch and even more great nutrition to this, so I'm doing that with some cabbage. I'm using a combination of red and green cabbage because you get such beautiful color, but use whatever kind of cabbage you have at home. And then I'm gonna finish these off with a nice drizzle of that amazing sauce. These are absolutely delicious. They are proof that sometimes the simplest ingredients can create the most amazing dishes. Now, friends, it is time for tacos. But seriously, is there anything a fish taco can't do? 
I hope your whole family loves this as much as mine does and that you'll give it a try for yourselves. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, is available on healthymealplans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. How easy is that? And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.